The role of a vet tech is really varied and can work in many different environments and go on to have specialties. It's not just working with cats and dogs. My name is Chelsea DeCole and my job is a veterinary technician here at the Vancouver Aquarium. I've always wanted to work with animals and I knew very early on in high school that I wanted to work very closely with them. Initially I thought I was going to become a veterinarian and then I discovered what the role of a vet tech is and I decided to pursue that first and see how much I liked working in the field with animals. Uh, the Animal Health Technology or Veterinary Technician program is a two-year or three-year diploma program at an accredited college or university. The typical day in our department is anything but typical. It's really varied, but generally speaking, we start with rounds. So with our veterinarian, we'll actually physically walk around the aquarium in and around behind the scenes and look at all the animals and check in with any keepers, aquarists, any of the trainers, see if there's any uh, animals that have any current issues that we're monitoring or treating. And then sometimes we have scheduled procedures, so we've got anesthetic procedures, surgeries, that sort of thing, and then a lot of the unexpected. So quite often we'll just have someone come and knock on our door and either have an animal that they want us to go and look at or an animal that they actually have in their hands that they're bringing to our office for us to look at. So we have a, rock, a copper rockfish that just gave birth and she's going to be moved into another exhibit so we're going to put a microchip into her and we have to anesthetize her in order to do that. And we insert the needle underneath the skin and into the muscle and then insert the, the microchip and then pull the needle out. So we'll just scan to make sure that the microchip's in there and there's the number. An example of an animal that's needed some treatment recently was a red-footed tortoise, this little juvenile tortoise that has been having some uh, respiratory issues. Our keeper noticed that it was quite wheezy for a few weeks and the wheezing hadn't gone away. So she brought him to our office and our veterinarian had a look and we ended up deciding to start some treatment. So we did some x-rays and found that the lungs looked clear and the next step was to start a treatment. So we ended up doing a nasal flush on it to try and clear any debris that might be in part of the um, upper respiratory tract like the nasal passages out. After the treatment, we found that the tortoise's wheezing was improved. It's still intermittent and the tortoise needs uh, nasal flush periodically, but it's improved from what it was initially. Because the animals that we're working on are very unique, we have to take some conventional items or equipment and use them in really unconventional ways. So we have a fish anesthetic cart that we use when we have to anesthetize fish. But in this case, we actually had to take just a, a large gray cart with wheels and drill a hole into the top of it and attach a bunch of tubing and then set up this, um, this cart that we could use to anesthetize fish safely. People always ask me what my favorite animal is or what animal I enjoy working with the most. And it's really hard to answer because I don't want to play favorites. <laughs> but uh, certainly working with some of the marine mammals is very special and very interesting. But I also really enjoy working with the fish. Those are a species of animals that I never expected to work with when I started out in my career. And uh, they're such a diverse group of animals that I've learned so much over the years here.